Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Deluvian Winds, a survival colony builder roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. Played the demo about seven months ago, and I really enjoyed it then. Said I couldn't wait for more of it, and now I don't have to wait for any more of it. Out now on Steam, so we're going to pop on in and see what it's all about in this more full version. We're going to be doing all the starting tutorial stuff again. It's been seven months. I play a lot of games. I don't remember, and you might be seeing this for the first time. And if so, welcome. Let's dive on in. Day one, the new day begins. Everything you need to know to start your journey. My lighthouse is a mess. The unhinged weather and the constant catastrophes keep destroying whatever we manage to build. What a life. In any case, there's nothing else for it. We must rebuild. I'm too old for this. I'll wait for the next caravan. Let me know if I can help in the meantime. Please don't go far. The lighthouse tower is a safe place, and there's so much to do to ensure our survival. Okay. Should start by clearing out the debris. We need to recycle this wood. I can take care of it, just let me know where to go. What do you have on is a hat there? Looks like a bubble. Are you wearing a bubble hat? Clear wood I'll remove the debris I should be done by this afternoon every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale same if it ever reaches zero I'll have to rest and won't be able to help anymore I see there's a greenhouse still standing if you sign me to it I'll forge there for food Good idea. Producing resources is Survival 101. Okay. Produce. I'll probably be done by the end of the morning. The production of resources is dependent on many factors. Morale, traveler species, weather. It's your responsibility as the keeper to make sure the tasks get assigned effectively. It's your home after all. Seems like everyone's busy. Time to move on to the next phase of the day. Okay. Get it. After work, it's time to rest. There's nothing better than a good binge to improve everyone's morale. Fuller the pot, the better we'll feel afterwards. Keep an eye on food reserves, however. It's always better to save up some extra food. A varied meal will give us different bonuses. Remember to mix up your ingredients and quantities. The flood is better with big folks like you around. Your generosity deserves a feast. You may fill the pot with various edible resources you have in storage. Traveler morale will be affected by the amount of resources in the meal. The recipe and its effects will change depending on the ingredients you use. Let's have a feast. All in on the, the greens. We don't have any other resources, so hey. Skip to next morning. This fire is the key to our survival. If I let it go out, travelers will not see the lighthouse and I will become isolated from the rest of the world. Each day, the weather will have varying degrees of impact on the flame. You can maintain the fire by giving it sources of fuel. However, the items used for fuel are also materials required to build and reinforce the village. The future probably holds some difficult choices for us. For now, however, we will have enough wood to keep the fire going as strong as it can. Fuel the fire with items you have in storage. The weather lowers the fire's strength. If the fire goes out, you lose. The stronger the fire, the faster the next exiles will find the lighthouse. Gotcha. So, the fire is as strong as it can be. 
It's literally not unless I do this, but okay. I'll tell you. Sure. We'll go out anytime soon. Travelers will see it from far away. Skip to next morning. But I do remember we're going to get lots of different uh, animal types. There were some that just weren't in it yet because it was a demo. But they all have different modifiers and effects that change how effective they are in certain tasks. They have certain desires, certain wants that we have to meet. Uh, they have yeah, different requests. There's that. It's the first day there. Our next travelers are still a few days away, so no arrivals today. Let's tackle morning tasks. Okay, so that would be the phase where... I was like, why, why are we skipping? That's the phase where people would show up and we'd, you know, organize what to do with them. If I may make a suggestion, you do not have the means of wood production. I could take care of that if you'd like. Good idea. We have the ability to build a woodcutter's cabin. We travelers are looking for places to take refuge during our journey. We come with different skills, so try and use us at our best. Let's build a woodcutter's cabin. Okay. You build a woodcutter's cabin. Right there. Got it. And then what are you doing? We should keep building up our food supply. Very well. I'll wait for an assignment. Okay, so they're only giving us one task per, but when we play the real thing, when they let the uh, training wheels off, we'll obviously have a lot of different choices. There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work. Okay, we got some extra vegetables. We have a cap of 40, so whatever we don't use over 40 gets trashed. Morale. This traveler has no strength left. Exhausted. Good meal might perk them up. Good shape. Satisfied, which improves their resource production. Happy, greatly improves their resource. Okay. It's time for me to go back on the road. I shall be on the next convoy out of here. I'll check on you if I'm ever around here again. Thanks for your help. You're always welcome. Have a nice trip. Feed them nothing. They're out of here? Why would I care? Wood plus five? Fungal meal. Oh, frugal meal. I mean, hey, honestly. Uh, throw some mushrooms in there too. Why not? It doesn't change how happy they are. And I, I feel like, in a way, I don't want to waste too much on the person who's leaving. Oh, okay. Fine. If I must. They won't let me be stingy. I'm trying to min-max the tutorial. Give me a break. Fire can already be seen from far enough away, and the next convoy will be here tomorrow. It's sometimes smart to save resources. Uh, that's what I was thinking. But apparently not. Let's reinitialize. What does that mean? Alright. I'll add nothing. Okay, so the travelers made it here. So when the convoy comes... Oh yeah, there's different weather effects that are going to cause some problems here. Convoy just arrived as planned. Travelers looking for a rest, a refuge, or a meal will stay here for a few days. Let's welcome them as best as we can. So new travelers in, and we got at least one traveler heading out. Climate imbalance forces travelers to move constantly. A caravan of refuge... Refugees will arrive in your hamlet from time to time. With Elmer leaving, we have two available spaces. Who are the new visitors? Available re remaining rerolls. We don't need to. We can't reroll right now. I mean, we might as well just. We take them both. Bianca and Morgan. Let's see how we we may help each other. Let's move on to the morning. Hello. Bye-bye. Each traveler stays for a given amount of time. When that time is up, they'll leave with the next caravan. 
They'll continue to help you until that ca caravan reaches your hamlet. <laughs> caravan. Oh, no. What do you all want? Hello, everyone. I cannot work in any of your workshops. Don't you have some bears around? We don't. What's your specialty? We bears are experts in producing insects. Let me show you. Build a worm terrarium. Okay. Workshops aren't the only thing setting us apart. All species have their own bonuses. We squirrels can produce more vegetables than anyone. I see. So I must account for each of your characteristics to optimize what you can accomplish. Yes. So you are, I mean, good at veggies. Yeah. You'll work here. So then what is more, what do you do? You can build those. Build, you, so we're not going to be building anything right now. It won't let us. Good with metal, bad with insects. I mean, I'll just send you to the woodcutters then, I suppose. Uh, home to many different species. Their respective knowledge gives them the ability to build different types of rooms. Every species has its specific features. They also specialize in the production of specific resources. Yes. I think, do they also have different preferred foods or something? There's only so many things. The recipes you discover and if their effects are documented in the recipe book. I don't have any... Yeah. I think maybe let's make a green salad. Are you going to make me use up everything again? Well, today it actually makes sense, because these guys are going to be here for a while. We may have to double up on food tomorrow, though. So it's 30, and we get, what, 30... We get, like, what, 35-ish? From a squirrel using it. Fire's strong and very visible. So here's the thing. If I have the fire at this threshold, they're going to be here in two and a half nodes. If I do it this way, if I keep it properly lit here, they will make it in two. So it just makes more sense that way. It's like, otherwise, you're, you're kind of accepting, yeah, I guess it'll take longer. But sometimes maybe you don't, I don't know, maybe if you have, like, a certain quest that you want to complete for one of your current characters. Uh, because they're going to have different quests, and you're going to have to complete them to get, like, victory points, if I remember correctly. So maybe you won't want them to leave yet, because you're almost done with their quest. So maybe you want the caravan to take longer to arrive. I don't know. Woo -hoo. Got a request for me? Uh, hey, I'm building something. What would be the most useful for the community? I mean, right now we probably want some more vegetables. We want both, but that just evens things out a little bit tighter. I like insects. I'll breed them. And I'm looking for traveling buddies. I would love it if you sent me to work with another traveler. Okay, so you... Are satisfied, so you get extra stuff. I mean, we're sending you just for the insects. It does. Hey, it doesn't even let us send you to another. So you guys want to work together. Um, God, that's actually kind of annoying. Because. Well, I guess I'm glad we went for the food then. Uh, or... Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Alas. What we get? Wait. Insects are food. Never mind. I forgot. Food is not just grass. We'll also need to super stock the fire. Otherwise, we're wasting wood anyways. Let's add insects to the menu. Each dish has its own effects, so make sure to try them out different ingredients and quantities to discover them all. That doesn't look good. 
but oh well. It makes you satisfied. Okay, good. Plus seven insects, plus five vegetables. Okay, ratatouille. Insects ratatouille. Hmm. Okay, we have some bad weather coming in, which I think is going to harm our fire quite a bit. Some weather events will reduce the fire more than others. Careful with the wind. Okay. I mean, it's literally a waste. We have 40 max wood. It's literally a waste to not put everything we have in. Because it, we use 40. We have 41 out of 40. I would imagine right now is when that gets trashed back down to 40. So my travelers don't want to leave right now. So I guess I can't take more in, can I? Oh, I do have a house. Oh. Wait, I'd have to replace one? I don't really I don't really want to. But they're sort of making me. Uh, I guess... I don't need your stuff yet. Oh. Whoops. What am I choosing right now? Available housing one. Home. So who's leaving then? Bye-bye. All right, that's not really what I wanted. The phrasing on it was is just like... <laughs> I shouldn't have... Oh, well. It's on me, but... How long is it really going to impact me in the tutorial anyways? Probably not at all. We should improve the lighthouse's housing capacity. I could build some housing with the appropriate amount of wood. Great idea. I have a small supply of wood that could be used for this. Oh, okay, good. We get some free free ones. Housing. Costs 30 wood. Modest housing. Welcomes one extra traveler. Can do. Slap that right in there. The more housing the lighthouse contains, the more travelers it can, yes, accommodate. So, Bianca, I mean, you're both going to be good at the same thing? Do you have any... I mean, they'll have unique requests, certainly. Uh, but as of right now, they do not. Do I want to overflow on bugs? They don't have any, like, specific requests right now. And we get a... F I, 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 I. They could build... I guess I could build even more housing, but... It's not urgent, and then the fire can't be stocked... So it's basically work at, I mean, we get super bug. I mean, it, I can only use 30 bugs in the, uh, the meal anyways. I'll send you, oh, you didn't get the meal. That makes sense. Yeah. You're not the one who got the meal. So the ordering on that is suboptimal. We can't change it. Can we? Suboptimal as hell, dude. Oh, well. Now I'm almost like I take the I take the L and just make the housing for later. Nah, it, ma it makes no sense. Let's get some let's get some more food. But yeah, yeah, they didn't eat the food. Why would they get the buff? That that checks out. It's a it's a very logical thing. I just that makes sense. All right, we don't have a whole lot. Spend all three just to keep you to make any difference. I think that's fine. They're going to be here for a long time. Plus one oil. That is irrelevant at this moment. Okay. Throw in as much wood as I can. That is as much wood as I can. 
Would have done more. We're overflowing on wood pretty often. A storage place would be pretty nice. I saw that some the bears had the ability to uh, to make it. All right. So I think as long as we don't replace, nobody actually runs. But I think maybe that person was just they they were done. Okay, days left before the end of this request. You don't have any requests. There's a big old downpour coming. If you change your mind, you can still click the cancel task button before entering the next phase and assign your travel to distance. I wish you would have unlocked that earlier. The weather forecast isn't good. There will be a storm in the next three days, which may cause dangerous waves that will come crashing against the lighthouse. Waves can vary in size, but the rooms closest to the ground are always the most vulnerable. We must reinforce our rooms if we want to avoid losing them. It costs resources, but it's better than going back to square one. The island regularly undergoes apocalyptic phases, which natural disasters will strike the hamlet. Such phases are shown in the weather display in the string of red forecasts with forecasts with disasters. One or several disasters will manifest during an apocalyptic phase, the nature of which is shown in the weather display alongside its danger level. This information helps prepare the hamlet for it. Every phase ends with rainbow weather, which heralds the return of better days, granting several boons for surviving the bad weather. All right. So we don't really have important... So who can reinforce? Anybody can reinforce. Maybe. Uh, I don't really care about your modifier. Good. This room now has an extra health point. It should survive the next catastrophe. Are we wanting... To... I mean, we're going to need food. Here's the... Like, that's the truth of the matter. We, we still will need to grab that. So 23, we have enough for a meal. And then... Can't re you can't reinforce while a room is in use. Mm. Are you actively bad at... Okay, you're bad at metal. Where's the undo button that you told me existed? Surely it's around here. Okay. Oh, well. Not a big deal. It's probably going to be fine. Let's get some work done. And you know what? Let's shake it up. You're satisfied, so you'll give us give us 18 versus 23 of that. I think that's fine. Because I clearly, like, I don't care about oil production right now, because it's just doesn't seem like a thing that we are really using yet. So let's try and get a different meal for different benefits. Maybe 10 of veggies and two of bugs. Do we know what that meal is? We don't know what that meal is yet. The green salad is nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a good one for us. Until we start to need metal. But who knows. Alright, we didn't really get a huge influx of wood that day, but we also clearly don't need it. Just put in the 10. Should have put in 20, I guess. Man. They give you so, so much extra. I, I could have put in an extra 10. We're wasting 5. Oh, well. Like I said, a storeroom would be nice. Not going to be the end of the world in the tutorial. If it even... I don't think it really even is. It's kind of just like a... This is your first scenario. All right. Available housing 2... So, what do we want? I mean, we want you.
And then, I guess, kind of one of these two. You're good at getting it. <laughs> harvesting wood. I'll go for that for now. So, do I understand this correctly? I could... I could maybe, like, re-roll you and try and get somebody else. But I don't think it'll really matter. Traits. Rain Lover. When the weather is light rain, heavy rain, and stormy or downpour, plus two to morale gain. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey. Do I have good news for you? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bear. So I think that was the thing last time. Is one person was going regardless. Her time... I thought her time didn't line up with it, but it, it just did. No two butts about it. Keep the fire lit until day... Nine. Alright. So... This is reinforced. I would love to reinforce this today. I wouldn't mind getting more... Wood... So we'll have you, because this room is already reinforced. Rain lever. We'll send you in there. This is already reinforced with one shield. We could reinforce it with a second. Things lower to the ground are more likely to be screwed over. So if I can't, um, basically if I can't use this anyways... Might as well go for this. Oh, yeah. We have the insect spring rolls anyways. We're getting plus 25, plus 40. That should be fine. We should have more than more than enough. We'll just use a pretty hefty uh, veggie meal. As we prepare for the big, big storm. Plus five wood. Oh, wait, we could... Oh, we need more food as we have more people. I can't get anyone to super happy. What do we got here? I've been traveling the world for a while since the weather went mad. I can tell you about the tale of one of my journeys. All travelers get three morale, or gain five wood. <laughs> I'll get the morale. So they're they're overjoyed now. Oh man, is that the highest, or was there one more higher than that? Okay. I'm gonna pump it all in there so we don't waste any. Good deal. We got a gnarly day. That beaver's gonna love it, though. Natural disaster, a tidal wave of level 2, and minus 3 fire. So, extra wood gathering today. Ah, okay. Well, we'll definitely do that. We're on the first section. Can we still do something? Storm rages. This is our last chance to reinforce our weakest rooms. Uh, I want you to work in the wood cutting. Oops. Wouldn't mind a little bit of... Uh a little bit of bugs. When the weather is foggy. Optimus. Minimum morale is neutral. Maximum. Maximum is satisfied. Huh? But you're you're beyond satisfied. What have we done? So who do we want to... I don't think this is... This is not considered foggy. But I will still go for... I think 35... Is 35 wood enough? I think it would be. 
We'll get some. It's not not great, but and then we'll reinforce this room. And we should be a okay, right? All right, everybody, buckle the hell up. This seems like a good meal. All right, bump up the fire as much as I can, probably. Yeah, we really don't need to. 20, 20 is enough. Think you'll have all the knowledge you need. Good luck. Who are you talking to? Here it comes. Too easy piece of cake. Oh. Wait a minute. Weren't you, uh, weren't you one of the other one? Okay, we got Morgan. We could, you know what? We'll just take all the three that are there, because we might be done. I love their little randomized hats. God, they're all heading out. Welcome, crew. If you lack time or want to experience the game at a faster pace, you can tick the auto-skip box above the wheel. Once the tasks of the day are finished, the game will automatically move on to the next day. Sure. Keep the fire lit until day nine. We've done it. Okay, so now we kind of get to vibe. I, I, maybe we can take a look. Worm terrarium, we don't need that. Oops. Clear. I don't think we need to clear anything. I don't think... That'd be for dis That would just surely destroy the room. Uh, what about you? Fisher's Cabin. Pantry allows food to be preserved. More storage for food. That could be good. Kind of expensive. I'll make a fisherman's hut. Got... What, what about you? Storeroom. Yeah, it would have been nice, but hey. Hey. Good vegetables. Rain lover. Congratulations. I think uh, we'll just have you... We'll have you gather the food. You're good at it. And then you can just gather the wood because you're not good or bad at it. Bowie. Should I grab more insects? I feel like I might want... I was going to say an excess of wood, but I feel like that's unwise at this point. Let's just... Let's just oh, there we go! Let's, we'll just get tons of food. Maybe we'll make a completely full-fledged meal soon. Something like ten of everything. What's this? One oil? We don't know what 50-50 is. You know what? 
Let's go for it. I, I feel like I remember from the demo that even though their faces don't move up, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not getting benefit from this. There's like a bar, like a 0 to 100 points or something like that. Maybe not exactly that, but you know what I mean. Done it! Chapter 1, Day 10. The sea needs some cleaning up. What are you looking at, Keeper? There's debris fo floating under the lighthouse. He was very nice. Wondering whether we could go g gather some of it and see what the sea's gifted us. Careful, Keeper. That's dangerous. The waves crash with force and the rocks are really sharp. I know, maybe it was some sort of crane? Oh, nice idea. I'll take care of it. Don't go down there. There, we just need to gather the necessary resources. Great, let's get to work. Alright, so we do get to keep the same people even though we're on to like the next the next bout. I do know that there is kind of like an endless mode that you can play. Uh someone left materials at the workbench. Gain ten. You can keep them. Oscar gets morale up. You already have really good morale. What did we get? We got ten ten worms. Why are they at the workbench? Okay, so are you good at gathering? You're good at gathering fish. We need like an extreme amount of wood. So I don't have any way to gather fish yet. I know you're not good at gathering wood, but it's sort of like you're not good at <laughs> gathering anything else that we really need to worry like, I, I can't have you gather fish, and these guys are at least good at something else. I guess, you know what? I guess the mouse isn't very good at doing anything either. The fruit, the bear, can I get insects? I mean, I think I'd rather have you get that up there. It's a pretty big payout. I could have you both. I mean, I, I need a lot of wood. Even though you're not good at it, the other people are good at the thing they're doing. Oh. Yeah, I've already put in two. Okay. So you can give me... Oh, this isn't for fishing. You can fish, then. It's not for fishing. It's just for digging up junk. Fishing up junk from the ocean, but not fish. Checks out. Okay, so now I want to go for a little bit of everything. Can I get everybody up to, like... Can I get anyone up to super happy? I think they're about as happy as they're going to be. Huh. Huge morale boost. Wood, metal, and oil production down. Interesting. So that's really like a... I just want to... I need to keep everyone happy. Um, God, I need some wood storage. Who builds the storage? Which, which animal builds storage? And do I have them still? I know there is the one that... We have the one that builds food storage. Housing. Evelyn. When the weather's foggy, thick or thick fog, you have a bad time. Hmm. Keep it, we can only get one more, so let's do a little bit of replacing. Storeroom. Okay. Okay. So we're losing our mouse, so let's get another mouse. That checks out. So much wood wasted there. I gotta do this now. I know it uses wood. 
and I want to gather wood, but this will hopefully let me gather even more wood over the long term, right? So we got quite a bit of food. We're going to need to get some still. You're happy. You can generate a lot more fish. The foggy thing is irrelevant. You are definitely going to be producing the most food, surely. Surely, smile. Or not. I, I just need to get a lot of wood at this point. Complete platter. Minus wood generation. <laughs> I mean, hey, we didn't know until now. But now we know. Uh, okay. 26. So, surely I get this 15. Now, right? Like, before the end of the day? Or no? For science. Either way, we'll be able to utilize this wood. Okay, we do get it before the end of the day. Good, good, good. Because then we can spend, um, if we spend 20 on the fire, we waste nothing. And then we also have a lot for the next day. That gets to be, it gets a lot of people very happy. Fish seven, insect seven, minus wood once again. We keep on getting, we keep discovering all the food that has uh, terrible ram <laughs> ramifications. Oh well. Uh, it's only optimal to spend 20 there. Anything lower, suboptimal. All right, so we got the 49. How much do we need for this? 120. Well, I feel like we can now just start to um, go for a little bit of that and just double tap here. Oh, man. Get us some fish. We're going to have like a super fish meal. Give me 33 of that. Fish and insect. We'll, we'll go for that and you... Because, I mean, you're still giving us 31. I mean, good God. Blue sky. Minus one fire. Vegetables up. I have to, like... If I'm going to fill that in any reasonable time, I got to book it on this stuff. Might be good to get a food storage. But if we just spread it across three... Okay. Only makes sense to at least have a little bit of that. Can I make anybody happier? 40 is as high as I can go. Makes the difference on you? Sure. Gr great. It only penalizes metal or uh, oil, which is not something I care about yet. You know, I don't think we do anything with this. It's bright enough for maximum brightness to bring them in. So who's running out of here? Who are we losing? Who are we losing? Oh my god. Everybody. Why do they always leave me? We're only keeping one. All right, so I'll take you. I'll take one of you. It's basically irrelevant. I'll go with Brian. There we go. Sure. Just wanted variety. Keeper, I found this while tidying my desk. I think it should be in storage. Yeah, you can keep it. Stay stay happy, hopefully. Alright. I think we can go ahead and... 
do that as long as we make sure we then go absolutely ham. We have a beaver to actually help us with this now. You're good at insects. You're good at fish. You're good at... I keep on forgetting. Metal. Couldn't care less right now. Huh. You're just as good at getting me this right now, which I don't have overflowing. And insects would be overflowing, but, I mean, truthfully, we just gotta go for one of these, too. Sure. If we just spend ten there, we could also build something, but, again, I don't really want to utilize my wood too much, because I want to make sure that we can fill that objective sooner than later. Alright, we gotta keep everybody happy. Which, if we just want happiness, this is what we do. I don't think we can go for just happiness. I think that's good. Does that make a difference for anyone? Absolutely does. Keeps us under some thresholds, too. If I can get away with one wood, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna completely skimp on it for now. Hopefully we'll be done with this by the time the rain shows up. <laughs> Keeper, would you join us for a little morning exercise? Come on, it'll motivate you for the day. What would you prefer? All travelers get more... Yeah, more wood generation, sure. Sure. Carmen, without even thinking about it, get the hell into the woodcutter's cabin. Then I guess the rest is the question. We have natural disaster tidal wave level one. I'm assuming... So a level two tidal wave was this big. I'm assuming a level one is probably just going to be at the bottom. One would assume. So how do I, like... Can I repair for cheaper or something? Out of curiosity. Yes. <clears throat> Storing 30 wood is not that big of a deal for us. Like, I'm going to have to... Okay, no, you know what? Let's pump the 30 in. That finishes that. Well, we can't really catch any fish, but we can gather drifting debris, barrels, or crates. Hey, why'd you have to say the fish thing? This will clean up the coastline. This will make us feel... This will make us feel less powerless before the sea's wrath. Okay, so we have, like, a whole new task with this. Are you good at... Are you better at this for whatever... You know? Let's just give that a go. Alright. Um, we don't really need to spend any time getting food here. Um, so I think... Yeah, let's actually... Let's reinforce one of these. That while well, you're definitely down there. And then you can... I mean... The fire's at minus one... Fire minus one, fire... Okay. So we're going to be spending 20. So if we send you to get more wood, that puts us at 55, which is totally workable. And then we have excess wood for repairs. We have plenty of food. And I don't know what you got over there to the... Uh, to the west. Oh, I have no... Oh, I have none of this. That seems good. Fish fillet. Eh, mare's heading out. I don't need you to be too happy. Sorry. Sorry, mare. One's all we need. But then... There we go. 
This net will allow us to depend less on the weather. Good. Oh, so that was the end of that chapter there. So what did this truly do? We need to make this space sturdier. That's a blueprint. Well, I think it is if you squint. Also looks like a very ripe banana. Can't even fully unfold it. I'll have to clean up this room before I look further into this. All right, so I do want to know what that is, but... Whoop. I know that there's a bunch of new animal types as well. Oh, they come with a certain type of morale, too. Everybody's leaving. Works for me. Bye, guys. Traders. So, okay, we have a quest. Or an event. Chloe and Olivia do not agree on the proper way to work. They are asking for a third opinion. You guys just got here and you're fighting? Oh my god. Come on. This isn't going to be good. It gives us something random? Is that there so it's like maybe it'll give us a, a resource we need that we otherwise early on wouldn't have stuff for? But, I mean, hey, either way... I think that is going to have to do it here for today. Uh, but I don't know. I just really, I really enjoy it. It's such a tight little game. I, I mean, so charming, so relaxing. It's nice to have kind of like a survival uh, colony builder that is, a, it's just about surviving the elements in a way that feels like you do have to manage properly. Um, and I'm curious to see where it goes as it gets spicier, tougher, things like that. Um, you know, you get more, obviously, materials, more buildings, more animal types, more animal types is more, more room types, more room types is more things to manage. Um, and then eventually I think that you get to a point where you need, unless they've done away with it, like each traveler will have specific requests you need to fulfill before they leave to get a victory point or something. And you need to get up to a certain amount of points. Uh, but last, last, thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Lakes and more every single day. Uh, Deluvian Winds out now on Steam. I believe it's in early access. Pardon the sound cutting out there. That is uh, known. Yeah, it's out in early access right now. So it is going to be developed further at this point. There's more stuff coming. But hey, if you like games like this, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. I, I do all kinds of games in this general vibe, especially with the roguelike tag. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.